we have this real wave and uh, you, you have the surface and object splash and crest splash and those splashes mostly are you know for the photorealistic uh, wavy surface with all kind of you know interactions and uh, we won't touch that as much because we need only for the design you know and we have the surface and um, you can see there's object interaction uh, details over here and uh, press right mouse button and add wave in order to have any kind of effect so fractal is one of the mostly useful and I really enjoy it so let's start with that I shall say and we have weight height angle and all of these parameters and you know like any anything else by tweaking these you would get something you actually need so just test it out and see it yourself but for now uh, as you can see by default it barely seems to work it works but it's just very very subtle maybe that's what you want that's fine um, but let's just tweak around you know, a little bit more uh, we scaled up uh, the surface to see more of uh, this fluid I shall say this uh, water and height as you can see uh, it, it affects quite drastically uh, so you have to tweak it uh, very subtle although maybe you want to have this kind of sculpture and uh, to have a still or anything this is you know we're working working for the design not for uh, some kind of ocean view or anything uh, because unless unless you're aiming to work in um, film industry and to work with visual effects so uh, you should go more into the large-scale fluids eventually, but uh, we're here creating the design itself, so uh, this, you know, surface only without any splashes uh, already is more than enough to create something really incredible. Um, so let's just tweak it a little bit more and see how it goes. Um, so wait, as you can see is kind of a strength, I shall say. And, you know, you should not be scared to go very um, up with the values uh, while you're testing just to see which direction it, you know, uh, goes and what kind of uh, the value this is. Uh, but eventually you should tweak it uh, subtle most of the times unless there's some kind of sculpture you're aiming for. Now we have this kind of weird wavy surface. It's really um, like it's dynamic, right? But it definitely is not um, the highest version of photorealistic thing um, that could be. But you know, you can work with very large um, waves in order. Again, this is just for the design. So. Uh, just very quick note, uh, F12, uh, Export Central, always, always check in with it. Uh, I will always encourage you to do so, and uh, you can export as SSD or as bin files, depending on what you need. Um, and if you're using splashes, keep in mind to export everything else as well. So let's see what Octaves does even more. slope let's see whoa as you can see we have lots of peaks <laughs> and uh, you know let's just make it a little bit more detailed and now as you can see it's like having different kind of surface and you won't see this in some kind of lake or whatever or sea um, again, we're working just for some kind of interesting shapes. Maybe this is kind of a representative thing for some kind of sounds or anything. I don't know. Um, it depends. Maybe you want to have like close up for this and uh, mimic some kind of macro ish feels um, of some kind of surface. Slope controls the height of the surface structures created with octaves. 
So this is a good reminder. Always press F1 if you need to remind, remind yourself what this is about or to check in with it. And um, yeah, let's just uh, have fun with it even more. And the idea is, while, while we, we are tweaking these parameters, um, you know, we are always aiming for the best design solution uh, with, a, you know, uh, less tools and the most efficient way. And, um, I, oh, by the way, fractal speed, as you can see, be very careful with that. But this actually, just sorry for jumping in about that, but it actually helps uh, to... It actually helps to uh, make your waves go slower and you don't have to, you know, adjust the frames per second or whatever. Uh, mainly you can, you know, just uh, tweak it with this and make it very slow. So back to, back to the, the idea of um, using the most effect effective ways, you know, for example, we can have a fractal scale, um, you know, X and Y, you can tweak them up as well. And you can gain the surface, gain the dynamics with a very simple tool with this real wave. And sometimes, you know, you might need some kind of still or maybe animation. Uh, it depends on your project, but um, this is kind of one of the best ways to deal with bigger surfaces and with, you know, wavy wavy-ish uh, designs and you can definitely go with the real wave and um, I pers personally I do enjoy it and uh, you will see my examples as well with the Mars uh, experiment and um, you know the second part of successful project is always um, you know resolution which is polygon size at this point and uh, it changes a lot if you need more detail you need lower polygon size uh, which is making more and more poly polygons but just keep in mind you know as much polygons you have uh, as you know difficult it might be to render out eventually and work through so make make it balanced um, so you find the best detail but the you know uh, less polygons as possible and maybe this is the surface and you maybe you need only the surface and you know it depends on your needs but, you know, the second part, the huge part of the project is to actually how you will finish it. You know, the, the surface itself might look interesting, but uh, with um, an animation itself, of course. But with your own idea, how you are going to direct it, how you will um, cut it, how will you... Uh, which, what, what kind of angles will you take eventually and uh, how how eventually it will shape its form uh, with all kind of lighting, with the shadows, with transparency, uh, or whether there is one or not. You know, all of these things, it's up to you, and you can create incredible work with the very simple tools, and RealFlow is very, really good for that. Um, of course, with the real wave as well, right now, as we talk to about it. So... You can add as much, you know, waves as as in, as you want to, but again, um, you know, just be very clear to use as less tools as possible. So now we are just trying it out, different kind of wave, which is spectrum, and um, as you can see, there's lots of big peaks we don't need. But as you can see, now we have very different kind of shape. It still has some kind of dynamics in it definitely although it doesn't look uh, some kind of real waves or anything but there's the pattern and this is just an example how you can exact exactly go with your designs uh, thinking outside the box when you have the box so you have this box of tools you have this one tool real wave and uh, you have in mind the direction you want to go and uh, you want to find this kind of pattern uh, which reveals itself uh, from the top level position or top top camera view or anything like that. And you can interact with objects, uh, you can make a uh, real wave without any waves, but just interact with objects. Um, so let me just show you how to do this as well. But, but for now, um, 
just always remember that when you have a box, you can get get out of it and get outside of it and create the most efficient design with it. So let's just bring in cube um, as an example. And later on, you will see uh, two examples with the real wave I made for you. And, um, and you know, th there's, there's uh, a, a huge benefit of having simple designs um, because you can tweak them up as you wish to and you can refine not only the details but the direction itself. So always keep it minimal, keep, keep it, you know, easy and... Um, Sometimes it's not easy, but it's simple. Anyways, uh, so just keep it efficient as much as you can. So we have this cube and um, all you need to do is you can, uh, you need to simulate it active. And of course you can create active rigid bo body, rigid body or passive rigid body. And passive rigid body is mo mostly what we you will use with a you know simple animation. So you can animate through position, rotation, scale, or anything like that. And in this case, we we just uh, animated it um, from left to right. Simple as that. Only to show you you know how it can. As you can see now, it goes inside the object. So this is something you need, you need to tweak eventually. Unless this is, you know, or what you need, unless uh, all, all you need is to have some little rippling effects onto the surface, as you can see, they are already there. So um, the quick note about this kind of thinking is that you don't need to find the perfection inside uh, your um, technical uh, part of the project and until uh, you know it serves the project's purpose when you get the results you need uh, nobody needs to know how we eventually did it so as long as it makes you more effective makes it more um, you know uh, precise and at this case you can tweak this object settings to you know avoid things um, you don't need and to enhance these rippling effects and all of this. So as long as it serves project purpose, it's great. Uh, because we need the, the most efficient results and that means time. And uh, nobody will uh, ask you, you know, e even if they will, in, you know, um, let's just make a video preview while I talk. Uh, nobody will ask you eventually, you know, how you did it uh, and um, judge you for how you did it. All they will see is the results. So aim for the best results and for the most efficient way to do it. Um, so this is kind of the box uh, I encourage you to have. And uh, this is in real time. Of course, it's not ideal, it's just a very, very quick uh, example. It has a little bit rippling effects in onto the surface and um, and this is how it is almost by default you know I didn't tweak um, much in here and of course I will show you um, other examples um, but you know so again to sum up uh, always use less tools as possible real wave is really good to create some kind of patterns dynamic wavy surfaces and you can uh, recreate some kind of macro-ish feels of some kind of even live being. I don't know. Depends on what you need. Um, just think outside your own box and first of all, almost have it. So uh, you can animate however you want. Uh, and, you know, what I did uh, with the other example, I will show you in a second. I made this um, sphere and jumping... <laughs> back and forth, you know, up up and down, I shall say, and uh, there were no waves at all, uh, only the surface and uh, object interaction. And this is how I made those um, waves eventually. So think uh, outside your own box, uh, enjoy real wave, and always, always remember that there is way much more than you can think of um, 
in on the get go. So just explore, have fun, and um, yeah, then create something great eventually with the camera angles and look development.